Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January favorites, which is so weird because New Year's was like literally yesterday and now it's already February? I don't know if I have a lot of favorites. Honestly, I'm weighing in this entire video. I've been living off of whatever is on my filming desk. So I'm just going to sort of look and be like, oh yeah, I like this, I like this, I like this. And then we're going to see. You know, I think this is the most authentic way. If you guys are new, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading a ton of new content so you guys don't want to miss out. Oh, I know what I want to talk about for my first favorite. Sorry, I'm such a mess. My first favorite is my hair. I just looked at my viewfinder and I'm like, my hair looks so cute right now. Because I think it does look like super, super cute. I mean, literally, it's tied up with bobby pins right now, but it's still really cute. So, I went blonde. And in January, I really committed to the blonde. Love the blonde. Well, actually, no, I committed to it in December, but I just, I'm loving the blonde. I know I'm gonna get questions, so this is what I ask for. I ask for ash blonde with a shadow root, but I don't want it to be too chunky of a root, but I want it like to be able to have my natural roots grow and not have it look horrible. Honest to God, that's all I ask for. I say, don't make my hair fall out, make it ash blonde, give me a shadow root. Now, let's move on to what I was about to say, which is makeup, and it's the TARDIS Pro Glow. This is the most underrated product ever. You know, I think they, what trip was this? Where Tarte said everyone, was it Bora Bora? Was it Hawaii? All I know is Tarte, like, hit me up. Anyway, with that being said, um, Tarte is Pro Glow. It's like everything you could ever want in a palette. Let me tell you, all these get 11. A lot of days, I'll just open this side because I do prefer this side a little bit more than I do the golden side just because I've been into like the pinks right now. But yeah, I love these. The color payoff is like, just come on. Are you are you kidding me? Like, come on. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing the first one. It's called Strobe. Yeah. It's just a really natural shade. It's really gorgeous. I've been really into spray tans, like I said, so I've fallen back in love with the Urban Decay One and Done and the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. These two are really just a match made in heaven, and I don't know why I love mixing them together so much. I just really love it. You know, I wore this alone the other day, and it's so amazing on its own, but it's just not the same without his partner in crime. Like, this is like Meredith Grey, Christina Yang. Like, they need to be together. They can do their own thing, but they're just better when they're together. So, yeah, these are just so great. I love them because I can just throw this on. I did this the other day. I can just throw this on when my skin lightens up a little bit. But I just throw this on. It takes no time. I don't have to set it. It doesn't come off. It doesn't transfer. It's not greasy. It's not oily. And it just lasts all day. And it's just the best ever. It evens out my skin. It feels super hydrating. And I don't feel like it clogs my pores. It feels just really nice on my skin. Um, I know I'm gonna get questions on my lip colors, so let's talk about this because I have been loving this combo and I've been loving this lip color. And the last time I wore this in a video, I got a lot of questions. So, what I'm wearing right now, the liner is Candy K. I've been loving lining my lips. It makes my lips look bigger, more defined. And then what I use to pair over top of it, I just outline my lips. And then this has been like the nude liquid lipstick that I have been looking for. NYX lingerie line. I should have known to look there all along. I'm such an idiot. Satin ribbon by NYX. It's like $3,499. So cheap. Um, it does feel like a cheaper formula. It doesn't last as long as I would like it to. And it does not look as cute as nice liquid lipsticks do. But the color is like gorgeous. It's to die. It makes your teeth nice and white. It's a nice cool toned pink and it's nice and nude and opaque and it feels very lightweight on the lips. So I like all of that. Um, it does like wrinkle a little bit more than I would like it to, but I think it's a really great liquid lip and it's affordable. So if you guys are looking for like a good nude liquid lip, try this out. I think you'll really like it. Something that really threw me off that I've been loving is the Kai Liner by Kylie, oddly enough. This gel liner I just want to like talk about for a minute this does not come off of your face like I use this for wings whatever I put on my waterline all the time this is always on my waterline um, forever and always now I will always buy this for my waterline because it does not budge I go in to take off my makeup I use coconut oil makeup wipes everything when it comes to if I'm using like a cat eye with this wing liner with this I have to literally like scrub at it and then it still doesn't come off. And I have to go back in and scrub. Like, I don't know what she put in this. Cement, maybe? I don't know. But it does not come off of your face. 
and it's so great. Like it's the best thing ever because if you're anything like me and if your eyes are sensitive little bitches and if they water like it's no one's business when you're smiling, enjoying life and your eyes just decide to hate you and water and ruin your makeup, your wings won't go anywhere. Your wings aren't gonna be flying away. You know what I mean? They're gonna stay put. So thanks Kylie, because you really did help me. I wanna talk about my, my brows for a minute. I've totally, totally changed up my brow routine, like completely. So I'm probably gonna do an updated brow routine video. Would you guys be interested? Let me know in the comments, cause I don't know. But I'm gonna talk about what I do really quick. So first I outline my brows. That's the first thing I do is I like underline them. I didn't do this today cause I'm an idiot and I don't plan out like that. Today I was just like, I'm just gonna slap makeup on my face. This literally took me 10 minutes. Can you tell? I can tell. So I just use whatever conceal is closest to me. Lately I've been using the Kevin Aquan. I really like this. I outline with this and then I go in with the Anastasia Brows in the shade Taupe. Um, this is like my base color. Like taupe is the darkest that I go. I used to use soft brown when I first got my hair lightened to this color. And then I wore it one day and I my hair was down and I was tan, but I hated it how I looked and I was like, what is wrong? Like, am I too dark? Is my hair too light? Like what's up? And then I was like, it's my eyebrows. My eyebrows are way too dark. So I went to Ulta that day and I got all new eyebrow shades and that totally changed the look and now the hair works perfectly. So, you know, try switching up your eyebrows if something looks off, you know what I mean? Eyebrow colors make such a difference. So after I underline my brows, I go in and I like define the shape of them. Then I take the Benefit Gimme Brow in number one, which is like the blonde. Like this is light. This is way too light for my eyebrows. So I go in and I fill in the gaps with this and this kind of combs my hairs up at the same time and sets them and it fills it in. So it gives it a much more natural look. Then after that, I know this is a lot, but this is the last step. I go in, I wanna talk about this brush too. I go in with the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Taupe. Who would have thought I would be filling in my eyebrows with powder? Not me, but I am obsessed with the look of it. Pomades, bye, see you never. I'll probably see you soon, but like for real right now, shadows are where it's at. This is the brush that came with the Kai liner and it's the best brush ever for your eyebrows. If you need an eyebrow brush, Seriously, get the Kai liner because the eyeliner is bomb as anything and the brush is like the best brush ever for your eyebrows. I've never found a brush I loved more for my brows. L'Oreal Telescopic. So since about like October, I've been using false eyelashes every single day. And lately, well, I don't want to say lately, but yeah, lately, uh, there have been some days, only like a few, like four or five days, where I haven't worn thick eyelashes and I've been sporting like the natural look me. Would you believe it? I don't. Anyway, I've been doing it and I've been using L'Oreal Telescopic. This mascara is seriously giving better than sex a run for its money. It is so good and it's so much cheaper. Actually, I think they kind of made this expensive now. I think it's like $11.99, which is a lot for the drugstore. I love this mascara. I think it's really, really good. Um, it is nice and black. It keeps my curl. It makes my lashes long which for me when I'm used to wearing false eyelashes, my lashes are long every day. But when I have um, no falsies on, obviously they're short, so I like them to look as long as I can. That's it, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other videos you guys wanna see. Be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss my next video. Video. I know you guys want a tutorial. Valentine's Day tutorials are coming this week, I promise. Um, so I'm gonna probably do like a soft, girly, pretty one like I do every year. I'll probably do a glam one like I do every year. And then um, I can do a third one if you guys want. I haven't thought of what the third one would be yet. But let me know what you guys want for like the dramatic one. I'm thinking the light, pretty, girly one. Definitely will have like soft glitters and like soft pinks. The traditional one, but it's the one that everyone likes to see. And it's one that I would personally wear on Valentine's Day. And I think that you guys would also wear it on Valentine's Day. So yeah, let me know in the comments. I love you guys all so much. Follow me on Instagram because my Instagram is popping. Follow me on Instagram. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.